This video is in direct response to all the people that wanted to try the laser DMT experiment. Hello everyone. Uh, to anybody who doesn't know what I'm talking about, uh, I posted a video recently, go to my page, it's the video about me talking that I discovered that when you smoke DMT and you project a laser on a wall, you can see code writing in the wall. Uh, I felt moral obligation to record this quick uh, safety protocol tutorial. Obviously, I'm going to be releasing something much more robust later, but hopefully this will do for now. Um, I think three main things. The first one is, uh, I think it should go without saying, but do not look at the laser. Uh, you're obviously looking at a projection of the laser, if that wasn't clear, and um, you want to make sure that, um, yeah, you're not looking at the laser. The second thing is, uh, do not use any laser that is above 5 milliwatts. I looked through the, all of the market, like Amazon everywhere, all of them are about 5 milliwatts, aside from the one that I left the link for in the original video on YouTube in the description. If you find another one that's 5 milliwatts, please, by all means, use it. I'm not associated with the seller, but do not use anything about 5 milliwatts because you might need to spend some time with it, which will mean that, you know, you're spending time with it. You don't want to do any retina damage. That's not good for the obvious reasons. And the last thing is your state. DMT is not a joke. It, the, the experience can be very confounding and even scary at times. I would say that for now, unless you're a seasoned experiencer with DMT, don't try this. But if you really want to, please contact me. I answer all my emails. It's lasersimulationx at gmail.com. I'm going to leave the link in the description. And I'm, soon I'm also going to be doing some Zoom meetings in which I'm going to do uh, a protocol um, breakthrough, uh, safety protocols, and also some new things that we discovered, for example, with the glass of water. You can project it through a glass of water and it's more coherent for some reason, both on the wall, bouncing off the water, refracting off the water, and in the little um, reflections in the water. But yeah, no more than 5 milliwatts. Make sure your state is good and make sure you talk to me before because uh, that's very important. And um, don't stare at the laser. Uh, I hope that's good enough. Um, that's it. Signing off for this video from this beautiful Italian garden. Peace and love to everybody.